in this video I just want to go through my recent settings for OBS Studio. This is like 2023 version of this tutorial. And these settings that I'm going to share with you are for high quality video screen recording settings. These settings are not for streaming. Okay, so don't stream with these settings. Just record video slash your screen. Let's go straight to the point. If you don't have OBS Studio, Google download OBS Studio and go to the first link here. Download and install the OBS Studio to your computer. Okay, then once you have it here, you should see something like this. Of course, I have these scenes here right now, but Maybe you don't have these here yet if you are using OBS for the first time. So in order to record something with OBS, you need at least one scene here. So I have this scene which records my computer screen right now. You can give names to your scenes. For example, I have this GoPro recording scene which automatically starts recording with my GoPro, which I use as my like everyday web camera. Okay, but let's focus on this screen recording. And actually it reads Nauton here because I'm Finnish. So I have just written this in Finnish. Don't be confused about that. But yeah, from this plus icon, you can add a scene if you need one. And then once you have added one scene, you can go here, sources. And these are basically some sources that you want to record. For example, I want to record my computer monitor. So I have this monitor input here. Okay, and then I want to record my voice. That's why I have this audio input. You can add more sources if needed from this plus icon. So for example, you can add some image capture, game capture, you can record your browser, audio output capture and so on. Okay, but let's go to the settings of my monitor capture. Right click, properties, and if you have more than one monitor, you can actually change uh, these monitors here. I have two monitors, so I have these two options. Uh, but since I want to record my BenQ monitor, I will choose this. Okay, this capture method, I have used this automatic option. And if you want to capture your mouse, mouse movement, uh, you should check this box here. So capture your cursor. Then I go to OK and right click on my audio input capture source here. So go to properties and only thing you should do here is to choose your uh, microphone that you want to record with. So I choose this, my Rode NT USB mini microphone. And let's go to OK. Basically now you have set up your first scene and you could start recording your monitor now. So you just need to click here, start recording if you want so. But I suggest we go through the settings first before starting to record our monitor. If you have already learned something, please give this video a like. I appreciate that. And please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Let's continue. Okay, so let's go here settings. Okay, and here you can see the tabs and in these tabs are different settings. In this first tab, you can choose your theme, for example, and choose your language. These are the maybe the most important settings in this tab. I think I haven't touched any other settings here. Even I have used OBS for like six, seven years or something. So language and theme. Then if you stream, you need to be aware of this tab. But as we are not talking about streaming in this tutorial, we can just skip this tab. Okay, so let's go to here, output, and let's go to here, recording. Okay, from here you can change the location of where all of your recordings go once you have actually recorded something with OBS. You can change the location here. And for this recording format setting, I have used this 
MP4, so MPEG4 option. And if for some reason you don't want to use this, uh, then I suggest using this QuickTime.mov format. Uh, for this video encoder option, I have used this NVIDIA and VENC H264 option. Okay, let's move to the audio encoder and I have used this option. So AAC. Okay, actually now we can go to the bottom rate control. So you have this CBR, which is constant bitrate or VBR, which means variable bitrate. You, you could use these, but I have been using recently this option. And for this, I have used 20 or a little bit higher. So for example, now I'm using 23. And if you go under 20, like for example 16, uh, it will produce quality video, but it will be bigger file size video also. So I suggest using 20 or 23 or 24 or something like this. Uh, this keyframe interval has been 2 for me. And for this preset option, I have been using this uh, good quality option or this medium quality option. And right now I'm using medium quality. Tuning has been high quality and multi-pass mode has been this full resolution mode. Profile has been high and these settings I haven't really touched ever. So yeah, with these settings you should have a uh, rather good quality recordings. Okay, let's go to audio and let's see what we have here. Uh, sample rate, choose this 48,000 kilohertz and channels are stereo. Desktop audio is basically your audio speakers and for the microphone settings just choose the best microphone that you have. So I had this Rode NT-USB mini here. We scroll a bit down. I haven't touched these settings also. So let's move ahead to the video tab. I have actually changed these base canvas resolution and output scaled resolution to this resolution because for many years I recorded full HD videos. This is full HD, 1920 and 1080 resolution. But because I always need to zoom these videos in the post-production, these monitor recordings, when I make these tutorials, for example. So if I make full HD video tutorial and if I zoom or basically scale the monitor recording in the post-production, the video will get very blurry and it loses detail. It's not so sharp anymore, basically. Uh, so that's why I have changed this uh, resolution to be a little bit bigger, so I can better zoom these monitor recordings in the post-production when I edit these tutorials. So, but anyways, you can of course choose this full HD or bigger if you need. And this FPS value I have changed to be 25. FPS, so frames per second. It makes these recordings a little bit smaller because the video has 25 frames per second. For many years I used this 30 frames per second, but that basically means that the video file sizes would also be a little bit bigger because more frames within one second means bigger file size for the video. Uh, for the hotkeys tab, I really haven't been using any hotkeys during these years. I don't really know why, but I haven't used to use hotkeys with OBS Studio. So maybe that's just me. You can use these if you want, of course. And let's just skip this tab and go to here, advanced. Again, these are settings that I haven't really touched or needed to touch, but at least check these settings. A color range, I suggest using this, full, okay? And for the color space, just choose this Rec 709. And for this color format option, it has been this 8-bit 4202 planes. 
option. These are basically enough for these screen recordings. Then we are ready with these settings. Just hit apply and OK. And you can start recording if you need. So basically these are the settings that I have been using recently. For example for these tutorial recordings. If you learned anything from this video please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Joe Hay and let's see in the next video.